Hey everybody, my name is Pixel and I want to welcome you guys to Midnight Comfort. Now this is a visual novel that is based around sleep paralysis. If you ever had it before, you know what I'm talking about. And we are going to see what this holds in store for us. 12 a.m. The night air was colder than usual. Your room was dimly lit, not a sound but the ticking of the bedside alarm clock. And the glare of your computer screen, a blinding wall of white in front of you. You don't remember what time you've started, or how long you've been sat down working on this project of yours. All of the text on screen almost seems like a blur at this point. An eyesore. Speaking of which, what was your name? My name is Pixel. It's nice to meet you. Right, my name is Pixel. Nothing new. How could I forget something like that even? Never mind that. I have to be finished with this by now. You check the progress you've made so far today, barely halfway done from the requirements. A good chunk of it is still unchecked and proofread, as if most of it wasn't done in a blur. But I keep getting distracted with other things. You groan quietly to yourself. Ugh. It was taking more effort to keep your eyes open, over-continuing to finish this document. A wave of heavy sluggish feeling, almost overwhelming your senses. It was no use. No amount of heavy caffeinated drinks could save your exhaustion now. Maybe I can just cram the rest of this tomorrow. What will you do? You know, we, we need to get some rest, you know. A rested body works better than a tired one. Yeah, I should really get to bed before I pass out. I can barely keep my eyes open. You softly murmur to yourself, barely able to stifle back a yawn, escaping your mouth. Your body was agreeing without much hesitation. It's an easy answer to your own statement. The grogginess would distract you for a brief moment, only for you to shake your head and sigh. You decide to rest for today. After fixing up your desk and monitor, you would find yourself in the comfort of your bed. The fatigue in your body was slowly starting to set in, a sense of relief greeting your senses. A moment of relaxing like this, almost blissful. You fail to realize just how tired you have been, a little ignorant in your part. It was taking a bit of a toll on your body. Maybe, uh, maybe it wouldn't be too hard to doze off tonight. Insomnia is one hell of a bully. You murmur to yourself, barely audible in between your slow breaths. Listening quietly to the ambiance of your dimly lit bedroom, you close your eyes. Close your eyes. Maybe you'll go to sleep. Inhale. Exhale. You try to focus more on your breathing, taking note of the light thumping out of your chest. Heaving in a steady rhythm, the calmness of the atmosphere around you as you drift off into sleep. Are we sleeping? Oh, oh no. You'd awaken to the abrupt rush of adrenaline in your body, hitting you almost instantly without warning as you would jolt a little in shock. You'd groan out in displeasure as your eyes would adjust to the darkness of the room once more. What time is it? Your own little internal voice would speak up in your own head. No response figures. Your tired eyes would shift over to the bright red alarm clock beside you, squinting quietly to make out the pixels on the screen. 2 a.m. Barely any sleep. Geez, so early. What woke you up in the first place? Ow. Your body felt even more sluggish than before, a lingering soreness in your muscles, a stinging, dry feeling in your throat, all the way up to your tongue. God, my throat hurts. I need a glass of water. W what? I can't move. Oh no, no use. Your body was refusing to budge even an inch, almost as if the exhaustion from before had taken over, rendering you stuck in a vulnerable state. Sleep paralysis? You try to move again, a last feeble attempt. Yeah, seems like it. Ugh, my head. All this moving had given you an awful migraine. The strain was adding more to the lingering panic you were starting to feel. Deep breaths deep breaths. Maybe, maybe I should try to get more sleep again. A faint shudder would run down your skin, almost a chill of sorts and catching you off guard. There seemed to be a presence in the room with you. A presence different to yours. Sleep. Come on, sleep. You'd quietly argue with yourself in desperation, the migraine in your head growing even further. Uh-oh. Inhale. Exhale. The panic had settled in nicely and it was causing you to break into a cold sweat. Oh god, an intruder? What if it was a thief? Some sort of serial killer? The Easter Bunny? No, that's stupid.
You were losing focus on your breathing, a lightheaded sensation rising up from your chest to your head. Dizzy. There's no use. I have to look. You had to, you had to convince yourself somehow that you were all right, that you were safe on your bed, that the presence was nothing more than some sleep-deprived hallucination or something. You had no choice. Open your eyes. Uh, <laughs> hi? Who? <laughs> The earlier panic would only intensify as you gaze over to the female figure standing by your bedside, eyes widening a little in shock as she quietly watched you on the bed, motionless. What was happening? Was this real? How would you know? Your body was still refusing to cooperate. The confusion was making you weary. Hey, uh, don't try doing anything funny. You could only warn in your head, unable to say it out loud. Oh gosh, what's the point? After what seemed to be a tense moment of silence, she would softly speak out. Hello, dear. Her voice would be soft, almost whispering. A disarming tone in between each soft breath she'd exhale, albeit inaudibly. Almost motherly in nature. Now that you mention it, she didn't even look scary. The earlier cheery expression on her face would shift into a vaguely worried one, while continuing to watch you with gentle eyes. I didn't mean to startle you, uh... My apologies. You were understandably confused. Still frightened, yes, but it was mostly confusion at this point. Unable to respond, however, you could only just watch her in a cautious, unsure manner. She'd almost blend into the dark atmosphere somehow. Oh, right. Where are my manners? My name is Madra. You must be Pixel, yes? Uh, <laughs> you have flowers on the side of your head. I hope I was able to pronounce it correctly. You have a rather charming name. It's nice to meet you, Pixel. I apologize if um I woke you from your sleep. I'm not usually this clumsy with my visits. In fact, I haven't really visited anyone in a while. She would close her eyes for a moment, almost pondering with her own thoughts, humming quietly to herself in between her hands, lightly fidgeting with one another. When was the last time I visited the surface realm? Was it the time with Noir, or... No, I don't think it's that one either. Her eyes would open slowly once more, in between a small shrug. Oh, it seems that I've already forgotten. Huh. She seemed a little troubled over it, her eyebrows furrowing a little in meek frustration, before she'd shake her head and look down at you once more, tilting her head a little to the side before speaking up. I'm rambling again. Goodness. You poor thing, you must be shivering cold at this point. Right, you didn't even notice that the blanket which was barely covering you, and you couldn't really move yourself to adjust it to your liking. Here, let me help you out with that, dear. She would proceed to lean a little closer to your side, one of her arms reaching over to carefully cover you with the blanket. A gentle shuffle or two as she'd fix and smoothen it out by the edges. There we go. I hope that feels much better. Whatever panic that you originally had was long gone, replaced with a light feeling of warmth from the blanket, and her presence as well, in a way. That was surprisingly nice. Um, thank you? You'd murmur to yourself internally as she'd watching as she'd sit herself back down onto the side of the bed once more. She'd seem a little more cheery again after being able to help you out with the blankets. Kind of cute. Now, you're all cozied up and ready for bed. It's still a little bit early, no? Humans need all the rest they can get. Or so I'm told. I believe humans and shadow people aren't so different from one another. Just living, di different living conditions and necessities and whatnot. She'd chuckle quietly in between a soft hum to herself, keeping her hands on the top of her legs. I hope that isn't a problem either way. I very much enjoy visiting the people from the surface realm. Especially you, sweetheart. Me? The shadow woman would seem to notice the shift in confusion on your own face before nodding and continuing to speak. Yes, you. Every day you work very hard, and you do your best to be able to make the most of the time you have. It's very endearing, Pixel. She'd pause for a moment and furrow her eyebrows to think to herself, her eyes growing soft as Madra would watch you. Although, you tend to be very hard on yourself as well. You push yourself to a point of exhaustion and it's not healthy. You take breaks very rarely, and it worries me so. I hope to at least remind you to pace yourself in a way that doesn't make you overwork. 
I'm in no way in a position to tell you what to do. I'm really just a stranger at the end of the day. It's most likely a maternal instinct of sorts for me to say such things, but... Oh, where'd you go? Oh, she's she's laying down next to us now. She'd pause before slowly lowering herself into a lying position next to you, still keeping a safe distance. Her bright white eyes looking over yours with a hint of hopeful hopefulness, kindness even, an almost cozy kind of aura coming from her direction. I want you to at least know that someone cares for you, Pixel, even if it doesn't feel that way. The world can be a little harsh and mean, especially to someone who's still trying to figure out things, things they want to do, to accomplish, to be able to reach success in life. It's no easy task, I know, but you also know that your own limits to these things and learn to just enjoy life for how it is now. And I do hope, even with or without my reminder, that it won't stop you from being nicer to yourself. Just to be able to have this sense of patience and understanding. Just enough to give you a safe space of sorts. Because, well, at the end, you will know what's best for you and what makes you happy. You'll reflect on the things you've done, even the lighthearted achievements. And you'll be thankful for being able to do so. Madra's gaze would seem to soften a little in between her words, watching as an almost calm expression would wash over your face. Her words were a lot to take in, but they held a good amount of value, no doubt. Personal, almost. The larger female would watch you for a few more moments in between slow breaths, before letting out a warm chuckle, tilting her head a little, and beaming over to your direction. Is that a silly thing for me to ask? <laughs> My bad. The same cheery expression would be on her face while she'd shift a little on top of the bed. It was almost contagious, really. In a nice, welcoming way. Anyway, you should try to get more sleep, alright? I'll be here until you be able to. Just to keep you company until you feel tired again. Right. Sleep. You'd fail to realize how drowsy your consciousness had become. Dragging your eyes closed as the same relaxed feeling from earlier would wash over you. Taking a brief, la a brief last gaze to her warm, soft eyes before dozing off. Rest well, love. Well, this is rather wholesome. I mean, I was expecting something a whole lot scarier, especially whenever it comes to sleep paralysis. You would awaken to the rude blaring of your alarm clock, a groan escaping your past your mouth as you'd clumsily reach over to try and turn the damn thing off, fidgeting with the upper buttons before finally able to shift it to snooze. Ugh, good morning. You'd grumble to yourself, slowly sitting up from the bed and stretching your arms out, lightly scratching your head and looking to the set alarm clock with a frown. 7.45 a.m. A little early, but it wasn't so bad. Funny, I don't feel so tired. Feeling a little well-rested compared to the usual, considering I wasn't even able to move an inch, and before you'd murmur anything else, you'd look around the room in a faint panic. Did that really happen last night? Or was it all some complex and complicated dream? Where had Madra gone? Oh, yeah, my papers. You had many questions, but lacking in answers. But, in a way, maybe that was for the best. Maybe it'd be better to just stick with questions for now. And linger in the midnight comfort. <laughs> uh, hello, it's me, Belge. If you reach this far into this little project, I want to say my utmost thanks. I made this simple visual novel as a practice thing for coding as well as a special surprise for reaching NK at Twitter. <laughs> Woo, wowie, let's fucking go, PUS. <laughs> but really, thank you so much. The support is so overwhelming and awesome, and I'm super duper thankful. I never would have really thought to I'd reach such a big milestone, and I'm sure Maja greatly appreciates it too. And hey, if you aren't from my Twitter, I want to say my thanks to you too. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you around. Belong to the owner in dialogue. Bye-bye. Wow. I really enjoyed that. You know, I went into this thinking that it was going to be a horror game. You know, hence the red lights behind me. But that was actually a whole lot more wholesome than I thought it was going to be. It was a different kind 
of sleep paralysis game. Usually sleep paralysis brings demons and crawling shadows and things that go bump in the night. This one was on the opposite end of the spectrum. You you encountered a shadow person, but they were like a long lost mother that found their way to you and saw that you needed help and just wanted to help you in whatever way possible. So that was that was really really enjoyable it was wholesome it was cute and belge you did a very good job on it so great job on that thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed what you saw feel free to like the video if you want to see more content like this other videos that i've done go ahead and subscribe to the channel you want to play this game for yourself i'll have a link down in the description below go ahead and check it out thank you guys again for watching i will see you in the next episode bye now